Okay, everybody, what is going on? It is your boy, Hustle 33 welcoming you back to another episode of Pokemon X. Last time, we killed a load of kids and their entire teams, as today we're looking to make an explosive splash onto our progression through this game. <clears throat> now... If you don't know what today is, I should tell you, it is the 5th of November. That has some historical meaning here in the UK. So, if you hear a load of loud bangs... Congratulations, Guy Fawkes Day is on its... ...emotion, I would say. And usually there is a lot of fireworks around this day. To celebrate a guy who got hanged for trying to blow up parliament. Yeah, we have some wacky celebrations over here. As such, we're gonna be ignoring them, per se, as they go off, and continue on with our game. And I was a little boy, blind the future champ. Hate to disappoint, but the gym leader is actually out right now. He said he's off to the winding woods. If you feel like searching, well, woods that are winding are certainly worth uh, minding. I don't know. My rhymes have gotten terrible over the past few years. So let's go over and try and find him in the winding woods, which these appear to be them. The winding woods, indeed they are Route 20. <clears throat> so... This place is a nightmare, because there's so many different pathways you can explore. As such, we're going to go downwards. Eh, I like double battles, so we'll take it. And we're going to be the toughest twins in the world. You're not stronger than Tate and Lisa in Pokemon Emerald. No one is stronger than them two in Pokemon Emerald. I had so much... Troubled back in Pokemon Emerald when I faced Tate and Liza for the first time because I never knew what a dark type was. So I was trying to kill them with my Gardevoir and Blaziken and just failing miserably. That was fun times back in my youth and nowadays I just know to kill things with dark type moves or dragon. Or fairy. Now that that's a type, that's always a strong type. So, today's been a very fun day for me. I've been annoying people at work like I normally do. It's been interesting to see how people react to me being me. Because if you don't know, I am quote, unquote nice. Actually, yeah, quote me. Quote me on this. I find myself not very funny, and yet people find me funny make sense? I certainly did not believe I was funny. Now, we're gonna just mosey on past that point and just say I've had fun today and I don't know why I need to tell you guys about my work day. It's a bit more, I'd say, not enjoyable for YouTube content. Obviously, I've got stuff that has arrived today in the post that's going to affect one of the other series on this channel. You don't get to know what it is until tomorrow, I do believe, is the next uh, episode of it. Obviously, along with that will be the World Championship Finals, which I'm bummed because someone decided to arrange a meeting with me for no reason other than they wanted to catch up with me for no reason. Makes sense? We're just gonna be going to that meeting, then crying, and then redoing an entire segment of a video because of them. And they decide to arrange it. I cannot change the meeting time, which is sad. Do you know what's even sadder? Being a small, small girl. <laughs> if you don't know, you won't understand it, but I have a friend at work who 
I asked, would you like me to review your website or make a list of things that are taller than you? They chose the taller thing and I made it into a video for them. And they're like, most of this stuff that you've showed in here is taller than you, I'd say. No, my ego is bigger and more fragile than most of that. But, uh, yeah, we found this guy who's here. You know what this place is. I do not. Welcome to the Pokemon Village. This place is a secret, you know. Most of the Pokemon here are runaways. Escape from bad people who did awful things to them. It's a shame how many heartless trainers who can't bother to care for their Pokemon are out there. Some of these Pokemon, though, some of them are too strong and they found they didn't really have a place in the outside world, so they came here. Hmm, I see. Your Pokemon sure seem to think highly of you. You've had some good times together, haven't you? Hey! You can all come out now! This one's alright! <laughs> yeah, way to... Objecticize us? Sometimes, I get worried and come here to check on everyone. Oh, excuse my manners, we haven't even had a proper introduction yet. The name's Wolfric. I'm usually over at the gym in Snowbell City. Since I'm the gym leader and all. Let me guess, you want to challenge me? Not really. Now, you're just being modest. You have seven badges already, haven't you? That's the only me left to challenge, so I'll be waiting for you back at the gym. Before you come by, I think it would be do you good to spend some time with the Pokemon here. Whoop. Doggy go bork. And yeah, wild Pokemon do spawn here. And you get Jigglypuffs here. They are quite high leveled, so I would maybe recommend killing a load of them so that they no longer are scared or have to worry about their trainer that left them behind. I, of course, will just kill every single one. Foof. Meow, meow. No, you don't actually have to stay. I just want to just to kill a load of kids Pokemon. And yeah, we can continue forward. There's a little cave here. Can't go in, sadly. I wonder what happens in there later on. A Moon Goose is going to get roasted, let's just say. And we're obviously going to head back to the gym in this episode, so don't you worry. In fact, we technically could speed up here. Oh, we just burnt it to death. I was so, so happy. There, that's the button I want. <coughs> I was so happy that we burnt it and it was going to die to the burn. But no, it dies to <laughs> the swing thrower. Never lucky. Oh well. We killed it. And yeah, there's a Snorlax here. Just sleeping. So if you don't know, we had the Snorlax earlier in the game. I wonder if we played the thing, it would wake up. It's a trash can. This trash can has something in it. A strange black shadow leaped out in panic. It left something behind in the ground. It's a mental herb. Yeah. Get free items here. And we can just mersey on back to the gym. Pasta Gotharita, one of my favorite Pokemon. I do believe Gen 5 Gotharita or Zorua were my favorite Pokemon from that gen. So, if we were to do a black and white or black and white 2 Let's Play, you know what Pokemon we're going for. 
so we'll just kill this Grafrita. Right now, down it goes. And yeah, we're gonna get our level ups into Utami. And... We're gonna actually leave this area. I know. Shocking, we're going back to where we began our area adventure, I guess. But we can discuss Pokemon Go. They started the Festival of Light today, I believe. And the quest line, or quest line, the missions that came with it are, quote, very laborious, I would say, with the having to catch Pokemon with berries. I mean, let's be honest, berry catching is boring. So having to do that obviously is going to be time consuming and not very fun. So I'll possibly do that in my spare time, more spare time than I have. And yeah, let's head into the gym. So, it's a snow city. Will we have to face ice puzzles? Wolfric stands atop of it. Down the set of stairs, it appears. Wait, can I just... No, I cannot just yeet us burritos over it. So it appears we have to press some pads on the ground. They call me the queen of the ice ring. I, I disagree, my friend. Imelda. What a name. That's a very, like, Scandinavian name. That looks shiny to me. I'm so I looked towards my second screen there to see how the game looked. And that sneezer looked shiny. But it's not. However, it is going to detect our flamethrower. It didn't detect our flamethrower. Rip. Rip you, Sneasel. Jeez, May is almost level 60. Cloister. Ooh. I should. I could have probably switched into Chestnut and killed it that way, but we've got flamethrower. It should do enough damage to win to give the Cloister. Indeed it does. Maya levels up to level 59. And I'm still trying to figure out if this gym is just a move the bridge puzzle place. Because if it's that easy, I'm going to be sad. Press that. Oh, it's this gym. Yeah, you have to actually do both of these. Which is sad. Honestly? If I remember correctly, this gym gets really hard towards the end. But because it's a nice gym, we can just insta-gib with Charizard. Even against a Swine, I think we insta-gib. Yeah. The thing is, though, we'll probably have to heal up Charizard and rem get all its PP back. Because... Of course we will. Okay, yeah, we do have to actually find the right one that allows for both. Uh, okay, right. I actually have to have it on that one. Need one that allows us to get off of here, over to here. Okay, there. That allows us onto the blue path. Yeah. So we've got a way across now. No, not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. Needs to be that. But I need to be able to get across in the middle. And off of here. There we go. Figured it out. Tickety boo. We're over here now. We actually have to go onto the green platform. In fact, we don't have to go too far. Because we can essentially... Wow, this Kragnall is very bulky. 
freezes. God damn it. Why can't I burn my way through? Oh, we fought out and... Yeah, that was actually really lucky. Nice. Maya did work. I have no more... Yikes. Get out of there. Maya's dead. I guess we're sending you, Tommy. We'll psychic it and kill. So, I want to actually go into Ayaka. Because... Ayaka has... Uh, fighting type moves. Oh god, I'm switching into Ayaka. So I have two good Pokemon for Ice types here. Ayaka is solid, and so is a uh, our Pokemon. You know, you know. well, uh, Charizard. The thing here is though, Ayaka needs to kind of evolve in order for it to be strong enough to deal with a lot of these Pokemon. Vanillux. Yikes, is quicker than us. Yeah, now we have an issue. Things that are quicker than us tend to kill us. The good thing is Tyrantrum is quicker than a Vanillux, so we actually get some kills here. Level ups coming across as well. We beat the trainer. That is fine. Uh, okay. Oh, no, I have to actually do that. Still not right. There, right. Quickly heal up our team. As it's actually getting dark in game. Okay. Let me in. Yes, we're healing up the team, get them all to full health, and we'll go back into the gym. Tip top condition and kill some bitches. So we actually have to press you. Zoom. That allows us over here. We also need to press you so that we can uh, line this up with an exit. There we go. Oh, I need to line it up there. Come back over. Press U. Uh, I've lined it up wrong, I think. Yeah, I need to line it up like that. Sorry. We need to line it up so I can get off this platform and also go over here. Yes, this is the what I meant. There we go. Now I can go over here have an actual escape route. Yeah, this is right. Bang and bang and bang. Bang, bang. Okay. Over to here. Press U. That allows... That, that's perfect. We don't need to use that one anymore. This one, done. <laughs> Never mind. Ugh. I need one that allows me to bridge across. There we go. Oh, balls. I didn't want to go on this one. I want to go on the other one. There. There we go. And we get to go face Wolfric. Hi, my friend. You know, what? I see he's both extremely hard and terribly fragile at the same time. You know what they means, depending on which Pokemon you choose and what moves I use. I could be your most challenging opponent yet, or I could be a total pushover. But that's alright, that's how it should be. Anyway, enough of my rambling, let's get this show on the road. I've given a completely different voice to what he had before, but enjoy the sweet, sweet gym leader music. As Wolfric is our opponent, with the ice badge behind him. 
We're gonna absolutely bombard his bomber snail with a lot of damage. When I say a lot of damage, I mean a lot of damage. You might have snow warning and whipping up the blizzard. But, you know, what we have? We have a mayonnaise. And this mayonnaise is used to the cold. It gets stored in the fridge. And when it gets stored in the fridge for a long time, it gets angry. When it's angry, it goes into Super Saiyan mode and goes really black and moldy. And when it goes into Saiyan mode, it does a lot of damage to you. Not gonna lie, it absolutely bodies you. And that's why you're a bomber snake. You just got absolutely deleted off of Summoner's Rift. And you may be saying, what's Summoner's Rift? This is Pokemon. It's an alternate dimension where Pokemon go to die and their hopes and dreams along with it. And it's kind of the home of Elo Hell. You know that place where people just absolutely hate. And I've certainly got stuck in there from time to time. But you know, I come back and play League of Legends once every blue moon. And I tend to just watch the actual esports content as I oh, don't get much time to not enjoy that over actually playing. Nonetheless, we've got a Kryganol that's actually quite beefy. It actually put confusion onto our mayonnaise, but off roasty toasty mayonnaise put a lot of damage down. And this Kryganol. While it is actually quite quick, it's used two hyper potions instead of actually trying to live. Wait, that's the opposite of what I mean. Instead of actually trying to kill. Because obviously, mayonnaise is not just a fire type, it could actually exploit that. But instead, it's actually just died and done absolutely nothing to us and as such we're just gonna get away with bloody murder as our mayonnaise grows up in level meaning more power and this guy's hail did absolutely nothing for him other than allowing him to bring his final pokemon because guess what your other two bitches are dead and I'm just sat here Talking in a stupid accent and have absolutely roasted and toasted your entire team with one Pokemon. And if this thing died, I had a fighting type in the back. It would have absolutely smoked your team. And Ayaka is that fighting type and she just leveled up. So this thing would have lost. Outstanding. I'm tough as an iceberg, but you smash me through, me through and through. Bloody air mites, what a pushover, let's be honest. Impressive. Your Pokemon fought with great courage. I can tell that you've trained your Pokemon well. And probably the grandest looking badge in this generation has been added to our collection. As the Iceberg badge is gained from Wolfric. What do you have right there? It's called the Iceberg, Iceberg badge. I know, I just said that, thanks for repeating what I said. As long as you have that, any and all of your Pokemon will surely look up to you and do their absolute best in battle. Let's give this to you too. Haha, <laughs> oh, we got Ice Beam, that's actually roasty toasty. Mostly the best move in this gym, and from any gym leader. You know what this is, it's Ice Beam. This move has an accuracy percent of a hundred. Not only dead, but every once in a while it will freeze the target with it hits too. I hope you learned a valuable lesson today. Being rigid can make you tough. And it'll so make you fragile. You are better off being flexible. You know what I mean. Some people are fluid like water and can adapt to their environments without changing what they're putting on the inside. Not me though. I guess I'm too stubborn. Maybe that's why I love ice types. Well? The bridge.
bridges switch around and the staircase is full back to the beginning is it a staircase or is it in actuality a slide we're gonna be serving back to the beginning kind of like we're serving to the end of this video as such thank you very much for joining me if you enjoyed this part leave a goddamn like down below subscribe if you want to Yes, a future champion I know and love. Looks like you triumphed over our little gym leader. It's never a bad thing to test the limits of your strength. Am I right or am I right? And since you're such a star, I guess this means you're off the Pokemon League. You know what? I have all the gym badges now. So there's really only one thing left to do. It's time you head off to the Pokemon League. Listen up now. Trust in your Pokemon, there's no limit on what you can achieve. Thanks for telling me exactly what we're going to do next episode. See you guys then.